All right, my map's looking looking better. We've got some additional information in our image on here, but there's one thing that uh, we should add. There's not much. I mean, one of the key things with um, making a map that someone can use is having them figure out where things are. So what we get used to as geographers just throwing this data up on a map. Um, and quite a few of us know um, the counties in Wisconsin, the cities, relative um, places of things, but a lot of readers won't. So if they want to figure out which counties these county forests are in, um, and if they don't know the outlines, they're not going to get very far. So I got a lot of space there where I could add some labels and put the county names on. Now labeling is a, a pretty complicated um, um, a set of procedures within ARC. There's some simple ways of doing things and some much more sophisticated ways. And I just want to show you the simple ways right now. So I want to label my county county file here. So I'm going to go to the county file uh, or in the table of contents. Right click on it. Um, and label features is going to turn on the labels, but I want to go down to properties to set the label um, properties. So we're going to turn on labels. That's what that other option would have done. We're going to label all the features in the same way. We want to use an at, so a field from our attribute table. Um, I might have to look to figure out which table I, or which field I need. In this case, county name looks like it's the right one. Um, and then I'm going to set a few things about the text symbol. I'm going to use my brown color that I've used before. Uh, an aerial font is pretty simple. It'll it'll work even though it's pretty small. And I may have to play here with. Uh, the symbol size. I'm going to try a 7 really small to see if it fits in there. Got some other properties I could play with. Um, uh, whether or not you've got labels that, that rotate. So let's say try horizontal first uh, and then straighten out. I want to make sure that it's only placed inside the polygons. Um, so there's a few things I can mess with and I'll let you guys kind of play with um, improving that. Um, I could say that uh, labels are only visible at certain scales. In this case, I want them to show up on my map no matter what scale someone's used at, so I'm not going to set this, but I could. Um, and then I've got some predefined label styles that I can use. So if you're looking for things like rivers, callouts, and streets, there's some defaults that ARC is set. So let's see how this looks. Let's go, let's go say OK. Uh, and I've got labels that have been added for each of these counties. Uh, it looks like there's a few that didn't fit within the counties that it didn't label. So I may want to set this again and modify a little bit, see if I get every county to be labeled. They're too small to be seen here. This is where I would probably want to print this out and see what it looks like on, on paper or on a PDF file before I decide whether or not um, those labels are, uh, are appropriate. Those, uh, that, that size is large enough. Those could be too small. Now, right now, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, of contrast, so those labels stand out really well. If I had a busier background, these may not stand out as well. There's one additional thing that I want to show you. So let's go back into the properties and look at labels. Um, I can do something that uh, makes those labels stand out a little bit more. I can use what are called text halos. So if I go in, and again, I have to bury into the, the options here in ARC, Go to edit symbol. So I've, I've got again some of the same things aerial font size 7. I can do bold, offsets, and all this stuff. I want to look at this mask. And I want to create a halo mask around these. So this is going to um, help me create that contrast that makes that text readable, particularly if the background's busy. So I can see over here I've got my brown text with white around it. And I can increase the size of that halo to be very large, or I can make it very thin. Um, so let's do um, one that will show up here. And so I've got a little bit of white around that. So if I have a really busy background, that text will stand out. So I can say OK to all this. Um, and then it's not visible at this scale, but I would have a little bit of a, of a halo around that so it stands out better. So a subtle thing to make your text stand out. All right, well, that's simple labeling. Um, so make sure you got place names on that map so that someone can figure out where in the bleep they are.